getting all the targets. Now they're going to Travis Kelsey. Uh, we saw Xavier Worthy get an 85% route participation. That was a high on the season for him. Still was not a high-end target earner, Ian. 14% of the targets. He did come through with a long play where he cooked yeah. someone. Ended up with 16.3 PPR points on the day. So those are your two upgrades. Um, Xavier Worthy and more of a something closer to a full-time role, even if he's not a high-end target earner, knowing you have Patrick Mahomes, that you get that one one-on-one -on -one in a game. Mahomes is the guy we trust the most to find it, Ian. You know, buy a little bit of time to actually see it all unfold and see it happening. He's the guy I think we would put most of our trust in out of out of any quarterback in the league to be the guy that can make that happen. And he's going to see it and he's going to hit that throw and it's going to give you fantasy points. So the door is open there for Worthy if he can improve as a target earner. And here's the thing, Ian. Once they have a week to scheme this now, and it's not Rasheed Rice because Rasheed Rice was getting a lot of the motions, a lot of the slot stuff, a lot of the design stuff around the line of scrimmage. The question will be, is will they bolster Xavier Worthy's role now by saying, okay, we're now going to do some of those things with you. And if they do, that could really unlock something for Xavier Worthy. So I would say I would be trying to buy Xavier Worthy. I wouldn't want to overpay for him, but I do think there's a chance here that we see the Chiefs actually try to scheme him up a lot more because after him, Ian, man, it's Justin Watson uh, had a 74% route participation today, but we know he's not a high-end target earner. We've seen it for multiple years. He's not going to do anything, guys. He's going to give you an occasional spike game. Uh, Sky Moore went right out there and probably could have caught a touchdown uh, pass, or at least he had a he definitely had a pass that was should have been a first down that he just dropped. Uh, so Sky Moore not doing anything. Miko Hardman, we've seen this show. We've been there. We know who Miko Hardman is. He's not going to do anything. The one other name, maybe Ian. Juju Smith-Schuster, oh. he had a 53% route participation today, so my guess is he would be the other guy that's going to be most likely to try to replace some of the production from Rasheed Rice. It's going to be nothing like it. We saw Rasheed Rice play. We saw Juju Smith-Schuster play the Rasheed Rice role the year before Rasheed Rice got there, <laughs> and it wasn't Rasheed Rice because that's just, you know, he's not as talented. But he could end up being like a wide receiver four or something maybe, so I would say it's Kelsey clearly is the biggest beneficiary. Worthy clearly the number two, but the other, maybe you squint and you're like, oh, okay, maybe this guy could do a little bit of something is Juju Smith-Schuster. We did see last night in Sunday night football. I mean, Rasheed Rice needed a breather and it looked like Juju 